I think teaching is an interactive sport. It, uh, it's not just, I have this knowledge and I am giving it to you. Because one never learns a field as well as when you stand up in front of a bunch of people and talk about it. Reed Scherer, NIU geology professor, excels at just about everything. Inspirational teacher, world-renowned polar scientist, institutional innovator. Reed Scherer is really a model of what we're looking for in our science faculty. He's a world-class scientist, and he regularly involves students, both graduates and undergraduates, in that science. They are at the act of discovery. They're part of the scientific process. That's what we value most. That's how real learning takes place. That's how engaged learning takes place. Reed's approach to science, and especially his students, is all very hands-on. He's very much into having us do our own work and sort of set our own path. So he's really all about making sure that we're in control of the experience and that we learn not just by hearing about science, but by going out and doing it. Cher has long embraced the engaged learning approach in all its variations, whether he's presenting a classroom comparison between the evolution of automobiles and organisms, working alongside students on dinosaur digs in the American West, or training the next generation of scientists while on Antarctic expeditions. Reed has a, has a substantial breadth of, of research interests. For example, he's worked with students in dinosaur paleontology and uh, other areas of paleontology and other areas of sedimentary geology. And his students have worked on projects out in the West on dinosaur digs. He very much is a proponent of what we do in geology, which is field research combined with lab research, uh, combined with sort of normal classroom activities. Geology, more than most fields, has always been a hands-on sort of thing because it's part of a, it's part of a journey, it's an adventure to, to, to learn things in a way that you can't learn in a classroom. So it, it, it certainly fits naturally uh, for me to bring my students into the field because you can hear about it in a, in a lecture, you can read about it in a book, but until you, you're out there looking at an outcrop or looking at a fossil, trying to discover that say each individual fossil, for example, is not necessarily exactly like the one that you saw a picture in the book. And so you gotta put your hands on. Despite his numerous international research commitments, Scherer has been a leader on campus as well. In recent years, he has served as Interim Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Affairs in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. He was also a leading proponent of the strategic planning initiative that resulted in the popular new environmental studies major and minor, which he oversees in his role as ESE Institute Director. When Provost Alden called for strategic planning for bold new ideas, I saw an opportunity for broadening out the, the focus that we had in geology on climate and environmental change to bring in faculty that are doing things that are related to the environment. Not just collaborations I had between geology and biological sciences, but I realized that there were people all across this campus who were interested in various aspects of the environment. In contemporary and geologic terms, Reed Scherer simply rocks. He nevertheless last year still managed to be co-author or, or author of, I think, six refereed articles, three coming into this year, and also obtained new research grants and taught a class. It's a tremendous amount of energy and a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and a really very well deserving of Board of Trustees Award.